Okay guys, so we are headed back to North Carolina. We just came from there last week and it is Friday. And the puppy has a breeding, not our little French Bulldog. He has a breeding, which is what we go to North Carolina for my boyfriend. It's one of his best friends does breeding. So again, if you're interested in puppies, hit me up, leave a comment. But yeah, so, okay, my tripod sucks, but just another vlog that I'm gonna be doing with you guys I'll let you know when I get to North Carolina it's about um about four and a half hours from up here in Maryland so a bit of a trip last weekend we did fly though so that was good we didn't have to even take a trip it was like a 45 minute flight so as you know my job I can fly whenever I need to so that wasn't too bad but yeah now we're embarking on this long ass journey but it's okay because it's for a good reason I'll get to see my dad and his wife so that will be cool. We'll get to see my boyfriend's mom and stepdad and his family. So, it all works out. Um, yeah, so I'll see you when I get there. Guys, we're at this little breeding for Knox, our French Bulldog. And I think he's going to breed with two dogs today. I'm not real positive. I'm so sleepy. I need some coffee from Dunkin' Donuts now. Ignore this bump on my face. I've been picking at it, so. And I also have to pee so bad. I don't feel like getting out of the car, but I really gotta pee. So in about 10 minutes, we're gonna have to stop. And I'm on Biscuitville, so I'm all over the place. I wanna go to sleep. I need some coffee and I gotta pee. But we're driving back from North Carolina today, back to Maryland. Um. That's about it. I feel like I'm always in the car when I talk to you guys. I don't really do much else. My boyfriend's gonna be driving, so I'll just be riding. And yeah, I look a mess as usual. You know, I'm gonna say that every vlog because that's just what it is. Um, anything else? I think that's it for now. We're gonna be looking for, well, we've been looking for apartments. We're gonna go on some apartment tours this week. I gotta pack up my apartment, so I'll record that for you guys and probably tack it onto this vlog. And yeah, and I can do like some empty apartment tours, but I cannot wait to get our new apartment and I can decorate and I can show you guys and it's gonna be great. It's gonna be a wonderful journey. And hopefully I'll go to work soon and then I can take you guys on a trip. So just some good things in store. We're gonna get it together. We're gonna roll with it. That's my motto. We don't get it together. So I've been manifesting. And you know what? Like. I believe in it but my manifesting is more of praying I don't know if other people take it that way but when I, they're like universe which I talk to God but I just kind of speak it as in as if I'm thanking God for what I want as if I already have it and it's been working it was even on the slightest scale that I saw at work and I'm like because they say you have to ask for exactly what you want so I need to tweak what I asked for, but it was still a thing. I was like, oh, wow. I actually said that was going to happen, and it happened. So I'm very excited about that. Today is Sunday, so football Sunday. <laughs> Hey guys, so we're watching football. My boyfriend just went to go pick up our food. Can't wait, I'm starving. Drinking a trophy. And watching football. Watching the Saints and the Buccaneers. So, we just got back from North Carolina. Oh my gosh, it took all day. We've been up since like 7 a.m. We didn't go to bed till like 2 a.m. Our dog had a breeding today, Knox. And so, we had to leave him and I miss him already. That's my baby. It's my little poo. But we'll get him back this week because he has another breeding tomorrow. So, um, yeah. Tomorrow I have got to go pack up my apartment. Absolutely must. I keep putting it off. Like, I started so early. I packed up a little bit of my kitchen so that it would not be just so much all at once and now I've, I've waited to the last minute but I'm gonna go tomorrow and maybe pack another box 
I hope. I have to. I have to be out by the 29th, and it's already the maybe 13th. I don't know what it is, but yeah. So I think not this coming weekend, but next weekend I have to be out. So I need to be packing up. Mm. I want to go shopping. I can't wait to move into our new place because I'm so ready to decorate. And I hope that we move in before Halloween so I can put candles up and I'll see pumpkin decorations. Halloween, spooky season, that is my thing. I am a witch at heart. Yep. So, yeah. <laughs> so it's dark as fuck in here but oh and don't mind my nails like they're so brittle from the uh, mm, gosh from the acrylic that i got gel and they just break off now but once they're better, I'm going to get them done. That just looks like shit, but whatever. Um, Yeah, it's dark as hell in here. How I like it. I'm on my second cup of coffee. I will not show you me right now because, whew. I'm not doing anything today. It's like drowsy out. I'm going to fold some clothes and probably lounge all day. As if that's not what I do all day anyways. And maybe, just maybe they'll call me for it tomorrow. But yeah, for now, that's it. Presentation is key. However, this is not the time or place for that. I have chicken, green beans, and cauliflower rice. That's what we eat damn near every day. Because we got goals. But despite how bad it looks, it tastes so good. I should really be embarrassed about how bad I'm willing to look on camera. But for some reason, I'm just not. I'm just not. But yeah, I'm back in the bed because I just finished making some chicken, cauliflower rice, and green beans as you just saw. And my head has been hurting all day. I don't know what's going on. So yeah, I'm probably not doing much else. I'm going to clean the kitchen a little bit later. But I just couldn't do it right now. I keep thinking my head will get better, but it's just not. It is really hurting me. So... <clears throat> I'm going to try and take a nap, but I can't seem to stay off of YouTube, so I don't know. We we'll shall see. Yep. Okay, so tonight I'm going to make this rice roni creamy four cheese, which I'm obsessed with, and I had like the hardest time finding it, but finally I found it in, where did we get that? I think so. Hair's teeter. Anyways, and I'm going to make some chicken. I'm going to just... I'm not gonna like batter it, but I'm gonna fry it up. It's already washed. I'm gonna put some bread crumbs on it, season it up. Um, oh, y'all, this goes on everything. I love ranch dressing, but I mean, this literally goes on everything. It's like seasoning. See, even on the back, you can put it on anything. Love it. So I'm gonna make that probably a vegetable. And then that'll be it. Little snack while I wait. Okay, here's the final product rice, chicken, and green beans. Simple and quick and easy. I still have a little bit left over, but I will probably eat more or I will deal with that later. So we went to the grocery store and got all kinds of stuff. I will show you exactly what we got. 
I love going to the grocery store. It's like my favorite thing. No. Okay, so this is everything we got. I'm going to go through and do just a quick little haul, if you will. So I got bagels. I need something to eat before the gym. I intermittent fast, so I just need something quick and easy right before. Um, I love these. Simply Cheeto Puff White Cheddar. Yummy. We got provolone cheese because we are going to make Philly cheesesteaks tonight. Um, I've never had this, but their broccoli cheddar soup is really good from Panera, so I thought I'd try the mac and cheese. Just a few seasonings. We've never had this. This is salt-free, so it's probably gross. Just kidding. Anyway, um, mini sweet peppers. I love to dip them in this ranch. So good. Um, I know the ranch is probably not good for you, but the peppers are a good little snack. Yeah, so Lunchables, my boyfriend loves those. We got a dupe for crystal light we got an italian sub just a quick little easy lunch when you don't feel like making anything i got creamer that i'm a little upset about i love the cinnamon dolce latte creamer however i have been using the non-dairy creamers but they didn't have any today so i had to get what i could find i love these sparkling drinks because i recently cut out soda not recently it's been cut out but these I've been addicted to. Now, I used to buy 10 at a time. Now, I only got four. I got the wild cherry flavor and the key lime. Those are my two favorite flavors. And then, because I didn't have another key lime, I got a tangerine lime. What else? Oh, we got actual real crystal light as well. So, there is the steaks for the Philly cheesesteaks. We got chicken breasts that are already pretty much marinated. Um, yeah. My boyfriend loves Gatorade, so we got some of those some fries to go with the Philly cheesesteaks. Some frozen fruit to go into our smoothies and shakes that we make in the morning. Can't live without frozen pizza, pepperoni, of course. Rice cauliflower, grapes to snack on. Yogurt that my boyfriend eats with granola also to go into our shakes. Breadcrumbs because they go on everything. Oil to cook with, salmon for my boyfriend. I do not eat seafood, ground beef, and chicken. Woo! Okay. <laughs> a lot of talking. And he is, sir, it's a Wednesday evening. Sir, excuse the mess because we are in the process of moving. Let me, let me get on camera. Let me show the people what you're doing. Okay. So, he's into that. I'm going to put the rest of this food up. And I will talk to you guys later. So we just got back from the grocery store. You guys saw all the stuff that we bought. Um, what else? I look a mess per usual. I'm going to say that every time. Um, I didn't do anything else today. I was just laying around. Went to the gym. I did do that. Um, let, what else? Let's see. That's it. Literally gym. Laid around all day. Went to the grocery store. Uh, yeah. Um. I don't really have anything else to say y'all i'm slacking at this vlogging thing right now my face is so hot i don't know why i might be a little red mm. if anything interesting happens i will definitely take you guys along and fill you in on everything so i'm trying the panera bread um damn what was it oh the broccoli cheddar mac and cheese and it is so good so yummy Definitely recommend. And this is just a sandwich from Giant. Again, don't pay attention to my nails. I need them all to break before I go get them redone. So you'll see these for a while. But yeah, just a quick lunch because we are headed out to pick up my puppy. So as I told you guys, we came to Charlottesville. I don't know if I actually said that, but we came to Charlottesville to pick up Pooey. When I say Pooey, that's my little French Bulldog Knox. So he had a breeding down in North Carolina last week. So we just left him there. And we're meeting my boyfriend's cousin to pick him up. I didn't go to the gym today. 
and I'm meeting Cold Stone, so I'm very proud of myself. And like I said, we're in Charlottesville, and you can just feel the racism in this place. If y'all remember what happened a few years ago, you know what I'm talking about. The feeling's thick around here. It's just, I don't like it. We're getting in and out. Yeah. Hey. Come here. Say hi. Say hi. Shy? Are you camera shy? It's okay. We'll get more later. Okay, you can't see my face, but I ordered something from Amazon. I ordered a little bit of other stuff too, but I didn't show that. Okay. I got a hair dryer, a diffuser, whatever. Okay, so I ordered a book. I love books. I've been eyeing this. It's been in like my wish list or I don't know what it's called, but forever. And it's like a thriller drama book. It's called, I'm a therapist and my patient is going to be the next school shooter. And it's six patient files that will keep you up all night by Dr. Harper. I believe that's the author, yep. So I'm so excited to dive in. I love reading thriller books. <laughs> I'll show you what we got. Not very much, but yeah, I'll do a little haul for you when we get home. So never mind my hair, but I wanted to show you guys what we got from Home Goods. So we got Noxy, a little doggy bed. Hey Noxy, say hi. Okay, he doesn't care. So, but we got him a new doggy bed. Basically, this was a trip for Knox. Um, we got him a little doggy brush, um, just to groom him. He sheds kind of a lot sometimes. We need to move this down too. Um, got him a little toy. He can play with, and then. Where he is a French Bulldog, he can't just use a traditional leash as, a leash, as I said, he needs a harness. So, we got him a cute little puppy harness. Looks like a life vest, but yeah. And then from Target, all I got was like, uh, ignore my closet, because I'm in the process of moving. But I got a bin just to put some stuff in while I'm packing.
Y'all. Please send help. Oh my gosh. I don't know. Happily. <laughs> All this stuff, like, I'm so overwhelmed. I told myself I was not going to wait till the last minute to do this. And what did I do? Wait till the last minute. So here I am. Okay guys, so I think I'm just gonna end the vlog here. Um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Talk to me, give me feedback. Let me know what you like, what you don't like, what you wanna see, what you don't wanna see. And Pretty Girls Love God, I've seen no lies. Go ahead and follow PG Love God on Instagram. Get your shirt, get your girl a shirt. If you love God, you need a shirt. If you love God, it automatically makes you a pretty girl. That's just what it is. All right guys, thank you.